I always learn from SpaceX. So the company that I deeply admire, and of course, you know, I have Elon's picture everywhere. When I, whenever I think that I am I'm working too hard, I'm looking at this picture and I realize that I'm slacking. Look at how they are building rockets. So you have the Falcon series that works extremely well. So you get the payload to, the mar to, the, to, the, to, to, to orbit and beyond, and it works. But at the same time, you're working on uh, Starship, right? And you're working on next generation Starship already. It might not be as validated, right? You wouldn't put passengers on it, but you will be working on Starship and you are using the learnings from Falcon in order to get a better Starship. So that's exactly what we are doing in drug discovery, because at the end of the day, you need to develop ultra high quality drugs. This is where you cannot fail. It's kind of like space with passengers, but there are more passengers, uh, so you cannot harm them and you need to get the uh, payload to orbit. So in order to do that, you need to have very validated model architecture uh, with many models. You need to be able to ensure that the entire market trusts this model. So what we are doing at Ancilico now, uh, I like to use the term pharmaceutical superintelligence. And by that, I mean prompt to drug. So if I can explain what I want, the system would make it for me. And then I will start my validation cycle.